All right, we decided we could do the aftermath of the limo wagon right here at the track because, well, I want to go home and so does Adam, so it's going to be a little while before we can look at it. Usually we want to have the hood off, but he didn't do any hitting with the front end, so it don't really matter if we take the hood off. Adam, how'd it go? <laughs> Walk us through the run. How'd it go? I used the rear end a lot. Um, there were five, six, five? Five. Five very well-built mid-size modified cars. I felt extremely underbuilt, to be 100% honest. And you guys saw what went into this one, so that tells you the caliber of cars that are here today. Uh, new going out there, I had a couple of buddies, so we tried to work together the best we can. However, one of them went out immediately, so that made things tough. And I knew with the stock as we left this front end, I needed to try to use the back. So I've always wanted to run a station wagon. I've always wanted to use the back end of one. That was a good one. I felt a little that bit one. of a door crease. Yeah. yeah. I felt that. Oh, we got some sheet metal. We got some sheet metal. Wadded up in the tire. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know about you guys, but that thing looks beautiful to me. I don't know what happened over here. That's a lot of work. That's. Supposedly, this side looks really nice. Though. This one was supposed to go up with it, and hopefully at that point the pillars both come in and the roof pushes up, just like a full size. We started that over here perfectly, a little longer in the run. I think I could have got there on this side, but it sounds like this was low enough that I was going under people with it. Yep. And then, uh, actually, here's my bumper. Yeah, check that out, guys. There's that steel tube that was on the back. Right there. <laughs> so well, how it came from here to there, I don't know. But and it's still welded on. It, yeah, yep, it's, um, it's still got a few welds. We got one spring broke off the shackle. Yeah, I'm not sure, looking at this one, I don't, know, I don't know what happened there. Oh, there's a little mount where this was clipped there and that is definitely so a lot easier to get to the rear end now you can actually see yep oh yeah there's a hump right here <laughs> i mean that's, that's uh the car. she's a little smushed yep. she came in pretty well but i mean it helps. um where we welded the two pieces together no issues whatsoever no. ouch damn it okay um that's a pretty good looking rig yeah. we got down to uh three of us and I'll have to go back and watch the video because I think the three of us battled it out for a what felt like 20 minutes underwater. So, and then I got turned around once the wrong way and I said, nope, keep the front end protected. I got to turn back around. She was doing an awesome job of just smoking me in the front end. Uh, awesome and I was drag. running around the track trying to wave him down and tell him to turn it around and start using the nose, but yeah. I never got to where he could actually see me. I went to turn it around and I buried it about three feet deep in the mud. Yeah, he was so, definitely all the way down. Got stuck and they were smart enough to just leave me alone. <laughs> So, timed out, um, it'll drive just fine. Uh, we, You had a little tractor put you on the trailer, right? Uh, yeah, I had them push me because the metal's too Yeah, exactly. So, a little bit of cleaning up back here, um, pounding some things down. What do we do with the Luma wagon now, Adam? You know, I hate to say we hang on to it and run it again this time next year because that seems like way too long, but I think we're going to learn from this one. We're going to have a little fun bending it out, and it's going to make Cody so much easier when he builds his. <laughs> So, we're going to call this just the aftermath on the AMC slash Chevy Luma Wagon. Uh, you will see the aftermath. For and uh, licensing purposes, this is the Chevy Concord. <laughs> yes, that's what they announced it as because that's what we put on there. Nobody asked, so that was, that was nice. Thank you to everybody that came over to say hi, shook our hands, checked out this amazing piece of equipment. Um, we will get the aftermath of the Unicorn up here shortly, uh, maybe even yet today. And uh, we got some updates to come. We got we, do. we got a little bit of time off, but we got some shows to get ready for. At this very moment, we have two empty garages, and that's weird. We need to get some work done. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? What did you think of the Luma Wagon? This is a short video. I understand that, but I, I hope you enjoyed it. Think Junior's Metal Works and Fab, he did an awesome job on the tires that we use on the rear. If you guys notice, uh, they still hold air, which is not something we normally drive off the track with air in the yeah. rears. Yeah, so, I didn't have that. I that's for that. sure. And the grill guard held up perfect. The only damage done to that was whenever they were trying to get me unstuck there. Yeah. Poked at the Don't bottom. worry. Someday I'll drive this thing and we'll test out if it actually works. <laughs> we appreciate you following along as always. Get ghosts.